In iPadOS 18, Apple Notes has a new icon to centralize how we add items to body text in the app. Go to the attachment icon on the toolbar and choose what you want to add to your notes. You can scan text instead of typing it. Scan Documents lets you scan notes using the native iPadOS scanning technology. We have covered that in a separate video and we will link it to this one. You can then add those scans as a PDF into your notes. You can also take photos and videos with your iPad camera. or add them from your photos library. Attach file takes you to the files app, where you can add any file or document that is supported in the app, PDFs, images, audio, videos. The app can only add one attachment at a time. The fastest way to add files from the Files app is to simply long press where you want to attach them. And this will bring up a pop-up menu where you can go to attach file. You can also record audio in Apple Notes under the attachment icon. Go to record audio and the app takes you to a new recording window away from your notes. Tap the record icon to start recording. It then changes to a pause icon which you can tap to pause the recording. You can resume any time to record more. The last step for recording your audio is naming it. Go to the three dots icon and rename. Apple Notes gives you the option to save your audio to the Files app. Or you can share it outside of Apple Notes to other apps. In this section, you can also delete the audio in case you no longer need it because you've shared it out already. But if you want to save the recording to Apple Notes, tap Done. Tapping an audio recording in your notes opens it up in the same window where you get playback options. Tap the play icon to start listening to the audio. We have 15 second fast forward and rewind icons for your playback. But you can go through your audio faster using your finger or Apple Pencil on the audio timeline. At the end of your timeline, the recording icon becomes activated, allowing you to record some more. Tap Done to exit the playback window and go back to your notes. These are some of the features that are working at the moment and some are still not yet available but we'll cover them as Apple releases them or as they improve and become more functional.